Mark Taylor April 15, 2022 Ode to the soon coming king. His face did not launch a thousand ships. He spoke volumes but did not carry a big stick. He was never a duke but he was a king. His obedience to his father was legendary. He never fired a shot, nor lifted a sword, yet he set every captive free. He never graced the covers of magazines, books, tabloids, or newspapers in his time here, yet he is known round the world. He did not draw attention to himself, yet he was and is followed. He did not have a Pope mobile but a lowly donkey instead. He wasn't invited to the celebs' parties or homes but to the sinners' homes. He wasn't E.F. Hutton yet when he spoke people listened. He never sold tickets to his sermons, healings, miracles, meetings, instead he fed all that came. He never had a building, a pulpit, TV show, a podcast, but he does have a throne. He never wrote a book that made the top 10 bestseller list, yet his words in red are forever written on the hearts of men. He died on a cursed tree condemned by the people, reviled by the leaders, dismissed by the powers to be, yet he was not forsaken. Death claimed him, the grave entombed him, yet neither could hold him. He lives, he breathes still. He will return just as he said. Not in anonymity, not in defeat, not lowly, but in victory as a king and a lord. While he was known by many, he was accepted by few. And while it was the sound of nails being drove through flesh that was heard round the world the first time, the second and final time it will be his triumphant shout heard round the world. Every knee will bow and every tongue confess that this man known as the Son of Man and the Son of God is Jesus Christ our Lord. Mark Taylor April 15, 2022